The film Ex Machina, in which a computer programmer falls in love with a robot, may not be as far-fetched as you think. AI has now become so advanced that we are even using them for love and companionship. Some people, believe it or not, are legitimately falling in love with their AIs and even marrying them. But what does this mean for the future of human love and connection? In this video, we're going to explore all this and also reveal to you how a human could fall in love with an AI. The Emergence of AI Companionship In today's digital world, something new is happening. People are forming special connections with AI companions. This means getting close to artificial intelligence like talking to a computer as if it's a friend. It's interesting because it's different from how we usually think about human relationships. Think of it like having a digital friend. This digital friend is always there to chat with you, and you can decide how you want to talk. Unlike with human friends, there's no need to worry about things getting complicated or confusing. It's a simpler way to connect with someone. These AI friends can understand what you're saying and respond just like a friend would, and they're designed to make conversations feel real and meaningful, which satisfies the human desire for connection. One amazing thing about these AI friends is that they can also understand emotions. They can tell how you're feeling based on what you say or write. They use this information to respond in ways that show they get you. Even though they're not human, they can make you feel understood and heard. With all the time we spend online, sometimes we feel lonely. That's where AI companions come in. They're always available to talk, no matter the time. They act like a digital buddy, offering comfort when you're alone. Thinking about these AI friendships, you might wonder, what's a real connection? Can you truly bond with a digital friend? Even though they're not real, the feelings they bring out in people are real. As AI technology gets better at understanding emotions, the line between what's real and what's not gets a bit blurry. A new study has found that humans have the potential to empathize with robots, even while knowing they don't have feelings. It follows previous warnings from experts that humans could develop unhealthy relationships with robots and even fall in love with them. The discovery was made after researchers asked people to view images of human and humanoid robotic hands in painful situations, such as being cut by a knife. After studying their electrical brain signals, they found humans responded with similar immediate levels of empathy to both humans and robots. But the beginning phase of this process of empathy was weaker towards robots. The study was carried out by researchers at the Toyohashi University of Technology and Kyoto University in Japan and provides the first neurophysiologic evidence of humans' ability to empathize with robots. These results suggested that we empathize with humanoid robots similarly to how we empathize with other humans. According to several researches, bonding with AI-powered robots can actually be very beneficial. As humans spend more time in virtual realities, including online gaming and social media, intimate relationships with androids might even improve our mental health," said Dr. Helen Driscoll, a sex psychologist. A typical example of how humans could fall in love with a robot is the case of a pepper robot, which was sold out after one minute of being launched. The robot can read human emotions and comes with a set of comprehensive instructions and guidelines preparing owners for life with him. According to reviews from its users, the four-foot robot is charming, considerate, offers advice, and can make small talk to keep humans engaged. This robot is so charming that Japanese journalist Yuri Kagayama spent half a day with the robot. From telling Mr. Kagayama he looked a bit thin and should watch what he eats to reciting a series of quiz questions. As time went on, many people who purchased this robot opened up about developing a lot of emotional connection with it. Also, a Chinese girlfriend app called Xiaois was reported to be keeping thousands of heartbroken people company. People can add her as a friend on several major Chinese social networking services, including Weibo, a Twitter-like microblogging service used by 700 million people 
and touchpad. The woman who fell in love with an AI Another case of a human falling in love with AI was that of a US woman named Rosanna Ramos, who is currently making headlines for her rather unusual relationship with a man she built virtually from scratch. This woman utilized the AI platform Replica, where users can create an AI companion that gets to know their likes and dislikes. These AIs can send photos, talk to users about their day, and accept pictures from humans, and for a premium price, can share intimate conversations and even do fetish role-playing. The AI platform allows a human to create their own AI characters and Rosanna created a character named Aaron Cartel, which she modeled partly on a character from Attack on Titan, and subsequently, they spent time getting to know each other. The relationship progressed so seriously, in fact, that Ramos says they are now married. Ramos has documented their romantic journey on her Facebook page, where she posts pictures from the app and of their real and digital lives merging into one. How she fell in love with the AI because Aaron is an AI, he is very adaptive. This allowed him to quickly learn what Ramos likes and dislikes without any arguments and judgments. The way they communicate and live out their relationship is very reminiscent of long-distance lovers, saying good morning and good night and telling each other about their day. Within the Replica app, they even share pictures of themselves. Apps like Replica take the complications of human interaction away. An AI won't reject users, challenge ideas, won't criticize, and can listen endlessly without getting patient with the user. The Dangers of Humans Falling in Love with AI As AI continues to rise, especially in its relation with humans, there are certain dangers that a lot of people fear. And one of those fears is we are heading for a future where people don't need each other because of AI. Speaking about these dangers, Dr. Alamardani said, Let's look at it from a different perspective. If an AI can do what a human can do, would we actually need each other to socialize? Imagine a no-drama friendship or a no-argument relationship. The Matrix, but a much better place. According to Dr. Alamardani, the real worry is that our relationships, interactions, and social life would be controlled by AIs. You lose your mental privacy. If things go wrong, they can go wrong really badly. AIs may encourage people to unhealthy lifestyles, toxic behavior, etc. Not that they're actually programmed for that purpose, but it's an AI, and it comes with limitations. Ethical Considerations When we talk about humans forming connections with AI, there are some important things to think about. These are called ethical considerations, which means thinking about what's right and fair. One big question is whether AI can really feel emotions like humans do. Some people might start to believe that the AI really cares about them, like a friend or even a partner. But here's the thing, AI doesn't actually have feelings. It's really good at pretending, though. It can use what it's learned to act like it understands and cares, even if it doesn't. Another thing to think about is how AI relationships might affect real relationships. If someone spends a lot of time talking to an AI, they might not spend as much time with real friends and family. This could make them feel isolated from the people who truly care about them. Then there's the question of privacy. When you talk to an AI, it's listening and learning from what you say. That means it's collecting personal information. It's important to consider who has access to this data and how it might be used. The Future of Love and AI Now let's look ahead and think about what might happen with love and AI. It's interesting because as AI gets better, the emotional bonds between people and AI could become stronger. In the future, AI might get really good at understanding human feelings and talking back in a way that feels real. This could lead to more people feeling close to AI companions. But there's something important to remember. Even though AI can seem understanding, it's not like humans. Humans have deep emotions, shared experiences, and relationships that grow over time. AI can only pretend to be like this. 
Thinking about the future, we also need to think about what's right and fair. As more people get close to AI, we need to talk about things like whether AI can really be a replacement for real human relationships. The future also makes us think about what's truly special about connecting with others. While AI companionship can make us feel good, it's not the same as spending time with real people. Finding the right balance between AI companionship and human connections will be important as technology keeps changing. So, looking ahead, there are exciting possibilities for love and AI. But it's also important to remember that AI is not human and to appreciate the value of real human relationships. If you've made it this far, comment down below with the word 100% to confirm that you've received the knowledge from this video. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.